The fires of Sam all. The gossamer Moogle appears to be searching for someone. Ah, you're a cat, aren't you? I found you at last, Kupo. Vidofnir asked me to come find you. And I've been searching high and low and near and far, Kupo. Do you know how difficult it is to look for someone while trying to stay unseen yourself? Well, never mind about that now. There are more important things to worry about, Kupo. Vidofnir has very insistent. Vidofnir was very insistent that I hurry back. Oh my god, I can't read the sentence. Vidofnir was very insistent that I hurry you back to the Samal Summit as soon as possible. So, uh, on your way, Kupo. Right, well, that's my job done. I'll go on ahead and let Vidofnir know you're coming. See you there, Kupo. Okay. Well, I guess I don't stay here for that one. Vidofnir has moved places? Vidofnir exists outside of that? I guess she do. Hey! Hey, girl, hey, I love you. Oh, cussing. Thou hast discharged thy duty admirably, child of Mogholm. And greetings to thee, warrior of warriors. Thou dost have my gratitude for thy hasty arrival. I have bid thee hence to Samal to aid in the quieting of these sacred grounds. When Nidhogg did meet his end, his minions quit the slopes of the mountain, and its once tranquil passages have become home to all manner of beastly intruders. And worse, the fires at the core of Samal rage and swell, as if roiled by some unwelcome parasite. The spirits of our fallen will find no rest until this disturbance is calmed. Thus would I have thee descend into the mountain depths, and sweep clean Samal's stony halls. Would that I could perform the deed myself. Alas, my girth prevents ready passage through the caverns leading unto the mountain's molten heart. Wilt thou accept this charge I lay upon thee? Thou art generous of spirit, child of man. Know that I shall not sit idly by whilst thou toilest within. Those winged nuances whose screeches rend the air above the summit will soon learn of my displeasure. I sincerely hope that Ofnir never thinks of me as a winged nuisance. Anyway, good luck in there, cat. Thanks, bro. Girth. I was trying not to say anything. I'll do this, uh, but if you want to unlock, just let us know. Otherwise, we can also get someone else uh, to switch out real quick if you don't want to bother unlocking it. That's fine, too. I'll just need to know. That's all. Because it doesn't take long to unlock. You just talk to two people and you're done. Oh, what is this music? Okay, no problem, Mel. This is some rockin' music. I don't remember this at all. Let's go. Never done this one synced either. I don't remember this one at all. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hell yeah. Working on unlocking will take a minute. Cool. Sounds good. I feel like I've done this one a million times, but I forget what it is. I don't honestly remember shit from this. I definitely don't remember the music. I'll tell you that much. The guitar work though. Breath wing. Ow. Oh, I thought he'd die. He didn't. Just kidding. Might as well. It'll refresh by the time we get to the boss. Ah. Duh. Got this roulette in roulette recently. Nice. Yeah, I haven't... I don't know. I just really can't think of ever doing this one. Other than the first time, you know. To get the quest out of the way. Ah! Apparently I was too far forward. I'm sorry.
down. Bow. Bow. So just focus on healing just in case. I don't know how bad these guys hit. Doesn't seem bad though. Ow. As one fucking does massive AoEs. Ow, that hurt me. It's such intense music. I'm not not loving it. Uh. They really like doing AoEs. All right, let's go. Whee! Hell yeah. <laughs> Bulbasaur! Swole Bulbasaur, chat. You can never unsee it. Proto Bulbasaur. Why is he on his hind legs? Don't like that. Ow. He's doing it again. Oh. Okay. AoEs, not bad. Excretion, I don't like that. Grody. Ugh. It's hitting wolf hard all of a sudden. Rude. Doing this again. Ow. Oh, and a prox! Woo! That almost killed me! Ha <laughs> ha! Living dangerously, let's go. Woo! Good thing I noticed, that could have killed me. He's almost dead, it's fine. Swolpasaur! <laughs> Okay. All oh, the noises in my ear holes. Don't like. Oh, those are chonky. I'm good though. Music's still very good. <laughs> the Adol! What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Fatal! That puts us at seven. Ignore the top. That puts us at seven for today. Fatal, thank you so much for the two gifted subs! One to Soy and one to Look. Look, you died. No, I didn't! I'm alive! Thank you, Fatal, for gifting those two subs. You both have access to emotes. Exclamation point Discord if you need help getting a Good badge next name. Welcome to the winners. Everyone's a winner. Thank you so much, you precious cinnamon roll. What the heck, Fatal? You're so sweet. My freaking heart. What the heck? Somebody likes me. Just in case, I don't want to pull them away. All the love and hype. The first spelling only works on rough days. What, Swolbasaur? Oh. <laughs> Sore, got it. Got it, got it. The reason Google Library took so hard long is because I had to read, too. Dude. Angler fishies! I love angler fishies. They're so creepy. I love them. <laughs> that reminds me, chat. Uh, Datoon just found out today, or recently, 
but he tweeted about it today, that there are people that call humans, people who stream, flesh tubers. Which I'm pretty sure is just a joke about how everyone's a VTuber and now you're just using your flesh tuber today. At least that's what like Nilla has said. Uh, and like I've said it about myself and I, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a joke amongst most VTubers. I don't think anyone's seriously meaning it. And he was so upset about it. And I'm like, that's the point, I think. It's hilarious because it's upsetting and because it's unsettling and almost like an Eldritch Horror type thing. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it was like, oh no. I'm like, oh yes. The whole point is to be weird. I like anything that's weird though. Hence anglerfish. That's why my icon's not like a cute kitty or something. It's a fucking squid. <laughs> I love myself eldritch horror things. Give me every eldritch being. Thank you. And I'll think they're cute and adorable in some weird, creepy way. That's just how I roll. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. It gives me so much life. And that's the story of why Cat dates me. Cause you're a flesh tuber? What does that do? Monty Python bunny? Wait, Monty Python bunny. Ah. The letter, ah. Just in case you need to be full heal. He glowing red. Oh, I'm glad I was away enough for that. Oh, I'm gonna... Yeah, whenever he lifts his tail, I think he's doing a massive AoE. Gowrow! We actually fight these as well. And you go with us. Oh, he's charging. It's going swimmingly. Have you ever seen the murder bunny? Never seen- wait, are we to- the only murder bunny I'm thinking of is Robbie the Rabbit from Silent Hill 3. Who are we talking about? Oh, you're thinking Monty Python. I don't know the Monty Python. Uh, I will say, okay. The one, oops. The one time, oh God, Astra. Ah, L, I got you. The one time I have seen Monty Python, it was in a Red Rock theater in Colorado. Everyone was quoting it, so I couldn't actually hear or pay attention to the movie because uh, everyone was talking over it. So that's the only time I've actually seen Monty Python. So I wasn't actually able to pay attention to it. Oh, well that's annoying. Well, I mean, it was like an interactive theater thing. Kind of like when you go see Rocky Horror. It's not the fucking Rocky Horror Show. That's how they were treating it. Like that's what it was meant to be was an interactive theater thing. And my mom was excited and my mom was doing it with everyone, but I, I couldn't follow along. And Rocky Horror, I love Rocky Horror, but the same thing the first time I saw it, I was, I did it at my college where they do the interactive theater and I couldn't follow along with Rocky Horror and I had to watch it outside of that to really actually get what was going on story-wise, though I do love the interactive theater. It's just not a place where you watch it to understand the story, you know, because you can't hear it half the time. Well, that would be fun if it's what you expect, for sure. Yeah, that's what, I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but I was also like, what, 14? Um, my mom was though, like people who went there were expecting it to be that way. It's just, it was my first time ever watching it, so. And my mom knows all the quotes because Monty Python's one of my mom's favorites, favorite movies, and she knows it all by heart. So, which should be very unsurprising. Uh. No cat, the Elder Torah thing that you somehow find cute. Fender! You are not an Elder Torah. And you are very cute. How dare you? Oops, no, you're fine. I stood in it too. <laughs> 
you know, as one does. This music does go hard and won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I don't remember this fight and all I'm having flashbacks of. Ow. Oh my God. The blood of the mountain is owie. Um, I'm having flashbacks of the gay lava in a later dungeon. And I know that's not this. Unfortunately, I do love the gay lava. Da 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 da. Last boss. Gay lava's pretty. I love the gay lava. Oh, god damn it. Torch. So I'm assuming we want to kill them before they do torch. Because that's the owie. Okay, well, one's dead. It won't be as bad as having two go off. That's so mean. Let's go. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Some all hard. Let's go. That's an inky scorpion that I have absolutely zero recollection of. So I don't know how to do this fight. Let's go. Uh, just at me in Discord with it too. If you want me to see it. Sure, I'll take that. That is a huge cleave. Molten skin, hate that. Uh, fire bad, I assume. I was right. Deadly Thrust is my stripping name? Okay, I'm proud of that one. Hiss. Is this just Adams as a boss? These grow over time and eventually will just be in lava. Cause it's kind of giving me that vibe with that one being larger now. Don't like that. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Sorry, Wolf. I didn't realize you were getting solo. Oh wait, this was some all fuck. I crossed off the wrong one. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Where am I? I have it off near. Ooh. 
Thou hast accomplished all I asked of thee, warrior of warriors. Through thine exploits, the ancient thing that did skitter in the mountain's core hath been exercised, and, in the, and the fires of Samal seethe angrily no more. This holy place belongeth not only to the brood of Hrelsvager, but to all the dragons who roost within Dravania. It shall not be defiled while I yet draw breath. The Dragon Song War did take too many from us. Even those misguided kin who reveled in Nidhogg's vengeance deserve to find peace in the release of death. No matter the choices that set brood brother against brood brother, in the end we are all children of the Father of Dragons. Now that the war is over, I wish only that the souls of the fallen be spared the turmoil they suffered in life. But off near cares so deeply for her kin. Even those who mocked Hrosvager's brood for their decision to stay out of the war. I only wish that I could have I only wish that I could be so tolerant of my brothers and sisters when they disagree with my brilliant suggestions, Kupo. Such musings aside, I should thank you for helping to preserve the peace around here. You'll be sure to keep a sharper eye out for the intruders creeping into Samal's caverns from now on. And music! Let's go! Hey, We did it, chat! Quicksand orchestration roll. 